Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and I'm taking a first look at AI structure in Luminar 4. Uh, Skylum gave me uh, early access to one of their builds with this AI structure filter in it. I wanted to crack it open, take a look at it. Since it is pre-production software, the interface may look a little bit different. Uh, this right now it looks a lot like Luminar 3, quite honestly. But also I'm using my laptop for this since it is not released software, and I don't put that on the big machine until uh, I've got you know GA quality stuff. So let's have a look at what's going on with this uh, with this filter here. So uh, I've got this photo. I've done a few things to it. Just you know your standard type of stuff here with uh, you know just developing a, a few of the normal filters to to add some general punch to it. So just before and after, and I'll use an adjustment layer to try out. AI structure. So we've got AI structure and we have structure. Let me add both of them to the filter area so we can compare and contrast. You know, what are these things doing? So uh, let me dive into uh, AI structure right away. Like all the other AI filters here, it's just got an amount slider and this one has a boost. So I'm just going to start with the amount and just pushing that up and I can already see in the trees and in some of the um, kind of the lighter slash darker areas like those borders like in these windows and so forth on the on these buildings here before that and after I can see the crispness like if I look around this area here let's take a look at before and then after you can see that shift right before after notably in the trees but also in some of the uh, the brighter areas of some of the sides of the buildings that are getting a little more sun and uh, that's pretty nice and also looking at the the water out here that's getting some kind of pop before and then after. So generally it's it's nice, right? Uh, I want to do something a little little odd. I wouldn't normally do this with a filter. I'm going to change the blend mode to difference and that will let us see what exactly is this filter touching. So the difference blend mode says, you know, show me the pixels that are different between what you've done to the photo so far and what I'm doing to it now with this particular filter. You can see kind of this like hazy look of uh, you know some of the some of the buildings being touched, some of the areas, anything that's not black is being affected. If I push boost, I'll bet that's gonna start really starting to jump out more. Yeah, I'll slide the amount even farther. And so we can see where this structure is being applied AI structure wise. Uh, let's switch that back to normal. Now that I've punched those things up really far, you know, the the results are much more obvious. Let's do one more before and after. Before, after. Yeah, that's you know to me that's almost that's almost too much. Uh, I want it to be a more natural look. So how does this compare to the structure filter that we've had for a long time? Let's find out. Let's play around. So let's turn off AI structure for now, and let's turn on structure. Well, turn on. Let's add some structure. So I'm going to add some amount, and already even just at like the 30 to 40 it's already crunchier you know looking up at what's going on in the sky and out in this water here that's a really strong effect uh, it's not as intelligent we would expect intelligence from AI the structure filter itself that that's that's harsh now it can play around with you know backing off the boost some and you know as I pay attention to the water in the sky that starts to get a little better but then of course I'm taking impact to other areas of the scene So before that structure after it's a, it's a subtler look but I still see it much more punchy up in the the water in the sky area and less so in say like the trees like focusing on this area of the photo one more before and after before and after it's just it's subtler uh, and you know losing some of the impact there now, of course, you could argue, well, I have structure, and then if I don't like it in a certain area, I can mask it away. You're absolutely right. You can do that. But that's not really the point. The point of the AI structure is so that you don't have to do that. You can edit your photos faster. Uh, let's take that same look at, um, at, at difference here and see what's doing here. And so this is definitely, well, different, no pun intended, than what we saw with AI structure. There's less... Um, like uh, obvious items in here. Like if I push amount farther, we'll start to see, all right, now I can start to make out, all right, there's some buildings here. You know, there's something 
large in this area and you know it could be an area of grass or in this case we know it's a lake i'm starting to see the edges of the buildings uh, whereas with the ai structure we saw that much more uh, cleanly um, and more uh, evenly i would say so going back to normal and let's turn off structure let's go back to our ai structure and turn that back on yeah, so that is definitely a much nicer pop. Fewer sliders to work with. The water is kept in check. So some areas that uh, need to remain soft, I think AI structure is doing a better job in figuring that out. So it's a nice filter. Uh, it's, a, it's a good addition. And uh, is it like, you know, the a killer feature? No, but it does let us do simpler editing. And that's a good thing. So uh, that's, a, that's a first look at AI structure. It's coming in Luminar 4. Uh, I guess sometime in the fall is when we're hearing we'll see this software emerge. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Comments below. Got questions about photography? Feel free to hit me up. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.